What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I know I look kind of crazy right now because, you know, I'm just a princess. No, I'm just kidding. I was filming a TikTok video, so I needed to wear my tiara for a video. Before we get started, I wanted to talk to you guys about the George Floyd case and Black Lives Matter. I'm sure everyone has heard about it, but... I just wanted to use my platform on here to tell you guys to please, please, please go do your part. Go donate money. Go tweet about it. Go advocate for it. Go sign petitions. I'm going to leave a link to everything down below. There will be a tweet, like a link where I will be posting down below. It's actually a tweet someone created where she has a thread of all the petitions, all the donations, everything you can do right now to help out for the George Floyd case and Black Lives Matter. I'll leave that down below. And I myself have signed petitions. I have donated money. And if you want to match my donation, I donated $20. I'm currently unemployed, so I really wish I could donate more, but I donated $20, and I'm going to leave the link to my donation down below. If you want to retweet that and match my donation, please feel free to. It actually makes me really, really happy. And also, I just want to say something to you guys. Please don't ever feel like you have to thank me for using my platform to advocate for Black Lives Matter. I've been getting a lot of messages on Snapchat and DMs on Instagram saying thanking me for advocating for Black Lives Matter. One, I am not famous. But I do have a bigger platform on Twitter. I have around 250,000 followers on Twitter. And I've been using my Twitter to advocate for Black Lives Matter. And a lot of you guys have been thanking me for that. And I just want to say, you don't have to thank me for advocating for this cause. Or it's not even a cause. It's just like a right that Black people should be treated as equally as everybody else. You don't have to thank me for that. It's just, dude, it's something that every one of us has a role to take part in. And I'm just taking my role and my responsibility as someone who has more privilege than my black African-American friends. And I want you guys to get the same privilege as me and get treated equally as me and have the same rights as me. So you don't have to thank me. It's, I'm just doing what I'm supposed to be doing, that's all. So anyways, if you're new to this channel, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up for me, and comment down below letting me know your thoughts on the song Strange. I actually have not listened to it yet. It's by August D, aka Yoongi from BTS, featuring Nam Joon from BTS as well. It's a piano, little intro. Cool, cool. That's weird for a rap song, no? To have a use, to use piano. That's interesting, the the voice audio he used to um, make his voice sound like that. It's interesting. It's like a cool effect. I feel like Yungi's lyrics are always so deep. Okay, so the lyrics so far is kind of. I feel like to me, it kind of is relating to what we're currently going through right now with Black Lives Matter, but that's just me. Maybe I'm the one who sees it, but. Oh my gosh. Hold on. I want to re rewind back. That's interesting. A person who opens his eyes in a world where everyone is closing their eyes. That's really deep. Now you blind. Isn't that strange? It's... That's, that's really deep. It's like saying how at first you could see clearly, but then through the people that you're surrounded with, it makes you blind of the truth. That's really deep. Damn. I feel like there's some metaphorical meaning in all these links. I don't know them. <laughs> So first of all, hold on, hold on, I, I'm gonna rewind back, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, 
Hold on, hold on. That was so hot. We need to rewind back. Give it a second. His voice. Ah, that's so sexy. Dude, these lyrics are so deep. I feel like it really talks a lot about currently about I, I feel like through this song it's talking about a lot about um people who are rich versus people who are poor and the class system and how like if you're upper class you don't treat people of lower class with the same respect <laughs> These lyrics are hitting so deep. So to talk a little bit more about the song, first of all, I just feel like I'm like missing out on all like the metaphors and similes in this song. If you guys can tell me exactly what you think the song means, that would be great. But as listening to the song, I feel like they're talking a lot about the class system, like the upper end versus the lower class, because they were talking a lot about like the rich and the poor and how I feel like as you dream it as you dream to get richer and richer you lose sight of who you are that's when that i grasped out of the song i'm not too sure if it's not just richer with like fame and fortune as well i'm not too sure if i i like understood the song completely it was really good especially now june's rap perfect fit into the song but i feel like the meaning of the song i'm just like not understanding it <laughs> i feel so dumb it was a like nonetheless like the song itself was it was like a good song it was a cool song like i will replay it i love the song but it's really frustrating to me that i'm not fully grasping everything that the song has to offer yeah i feel so dumb if you guys understand the song understand the meaning let me know in the comments below because i feel like i'm missing out on a really important factor and it's just it's really bothering me i feel dumb let me know and i'm really off today there's a lot there's been a lot going on but i love you guys so much and remember if you're protesting please 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 stay safe i love you guys so 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 much and i'll talk to you guys next time bye